Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Chaitra Jayadev. I'm from the Retina Services at Narayan Netralia, Bengaluru. Today, I'm going to talk about intravitreal injections. It's a very commonly performed procedure for us uh, retina doctors. Now, what do you mean by intravitreal injection? The word intra means it is given into and vitreous or vitreal means a jelly that is there in the center of the eye. So an intravitreal injection means we are delivering the drug directly into the center of the eye. The biggest advantage of this is the action occurs where it is required. Rather than giving a large dose into the veins or taking it as a tablet, we require a lesser dosage with lesser complications when we deliver it directly at the point of action. Now, what are the reasons why we would give you an intravitreal injection? There are several. I will just talk about a few common ones. One of the most important is certain retinal conditions which specifically you know, affect the macula or the center part of the eye which can cause blurring of vision. These are called as macular disorders. Very common amongst them are uh, diabetic macular edema which affects several patients with diabetic retinopathy. It can also be macular edema due to certain vascular conditions such as retinal vein occlusions. Another common factor is something called as age-related macular degeneration, especially the exudative form wherein a neovascular membrane forms in the center of the eye and that responds very well to injections. Another common factor which we take into consideration is preoperatively. Just before surgery, four to five days before uh, surgery for the retina, especially when there is a uh, you know, risk of bleed, we inject these drugs. This helps us retinal surgeons to have a you know, bloodless field when we are operating and helps in improving the outcomes of surgery as well. Now another last thing that I would like to impress upon you is also when we give injections for infections. It could be antibacterial injections, antiviral, antifungal, several rare infections also. We tend to give injections intravitrally which helps us get better response rather than just giving systemic antibiotics. We also give injections for certain tumors that can affect the eye. So you see, it's so very important to be aware of intravitreal injections. In certain conditions such as retinal detachment, certain types of retinal detachment where you know the involvement is very limited or also when there is blood post, uh, you know, it could be post uh, macular degeneration sort of causes, age related or even post trauma, there can be collection of blood behind the retina. In these cases also, we inject gas. In these patients, it causes dispersion of the blood from the center of the eye, giving improvement in vision. And in patients with retinal detachment, the air or gas goes and plugs the hole, giving rise to an improvement in the or a resolution in the subretinal fluid. Post this, we tend to do laser around that hole. Now, given all this, I want to talk to you about how the procedure is done. Where is it done? Most centers, the procedure is done in the operation room. In certain places, they also have something called as an injection room or a sterile room. Why is it important is because we are actually going right into your eye. We don't want any risk of infection, which is why we need to give it in a place where there is complete sterility maintained. So yes, what does it entail to you is that once your doctor prescribes the injection, the procedure is explained to you, you get your insurance cleared, your physician fitness done. On the day of the procedure, you go into the operation or the procedure room, just before the injection, a couple of minutes before we put in certain drops to allow you know, the ocular surface to be clean of any microbials. Once you're shifted onto the table, you're draped, an injection is given after the installation of drop anesthesia. So it's generally a painless, you know, a procedure that you can undergo without any major concerns. The injection itself takes, you know, a couple of seconds to minutes. Once that is done, again, antibiotic drops are instilled and post that, uh, we ask you to use antibiotics for a couple of days. So what do you expect post procedure? After the procedure, you might have a little bit of discomfort. Some patients can even have a bleed outside the eye. That is called as a subconjunctival hemorrhage. And when that happens, you tend to get alarmed. People in your family ask, why is your eye so red? What happened? Everything is okay. Nothing to worry. This subconjunctival hemorrhage occurs because one small blood vessel could have got nicked during the injection itself. But this usually goes away on its own and you don't really need to worry about it.
few patients even say that you know they can see a small black dot moving around or a white uh, or a black line moving around well the small round thing is usually an air bubble that could have gone during the injection and which goes away again on its own some patients like i said say they see a stick well that is an implant now other than these liquid injections that i spoke about we can also give a steroid implant that implant is you know 5 to 6 mm long and you tend to see it over the next couple of months itself now other than that what else do you feel nothing much within a month or two your doctor will call you back for a review these injections sometimes are required monthly and some injections depending on which injection is given can be given every 3 monthly also so based on your response to treatment and your doctor's plan of treatment for you you will be called for a follow up 2 weekly 4 weekly 6 weekly or even 3 monthly so that is something that you'll have to uh, discuss with your physician now what are the warning signs now you've undergone the injection everything is fine post injection but you may suddenly develop pain you could develop redness discharge swelling you know anything untoward uh, intolerance to bright light anything like that you need to immediately go and see your doctor why the reasons are there could be some complications or some consequences of the injection you could have developed either a bleed inside the eye which can cause a decrease in vision you could have developed an increased eye pressure for which they need to take care very very rarely you can have infection also presenting that is why we give you these warning signs and you need to come and see us immediately the most dreaded complication is infection like i mentioned or sometimes even retinal detachment but these complications are extremely extremely rare but to be aware of them is very very important because like i said intravitreal injections are very commonly performed and you may need to be aware of it either for yourself or someone in your inner circle like your friends or family so friends i hope i've been able to tell you a little bit about intravitreal injections so that the next time you hear of it you're not as worried or as alarmed thank you so much